Gentlemen and bow spinners, I thought I'd make a short video and give you a little bit of insight into what little I know so far. I'm up to about 600 a day, but I haven't been faithful the last couple of days. I've skipped, but today on the weekend, I'm going to continue. These are a couple of walking sticks. This one I think I bought at maybe Multnomah Falls. It's made of oak. It's stronger than this one. This one bends a bit. It's made of pine and it's the lighter of the two. Uh, they're both about between 54 and 56 inches tall, and that's fine. Uh, you can get a little bit longer one. Sometimes if you were in martial arts, you might get one that's six feet or so, but if you're gonna practice this inside, which is another benefit of this, you don't have to uh, go outside in the rain to do it. You need one short enough. I guess these are maybe nine foot ceilings, so you need one short enough to uh, work with the ceiling. So I'm going to show you a couple of ways to spin the bow uh, and hopefully you'll join me and push me and we'll all get up to doing the thousand spins a day for 100 days, the 100,000 spins in 100 day challenge. All right. First I'll just show you on this particular walking stick, I need to find the gravitational center, which is not the, the, the center in terms of height, and get the balance with my hand here like this. Now what you can do is just put your wrist under, top hand turns until the next hand catches. So I'm going the opposite direction with wrist over wrist. The bottom hand turns to receive, and the top hand curls around and continues the motion. So now I'm spinning kind of to my right, if you can tell. Let's try the other way. Okay, it's still wrist over wrist. I'm spinning to start out. This is my left hand turning to my left and my right hand turns up and grabs the bow or the stick or the walking stick or whatever you want to call it. So now I can go a hundred turns each way. I haven't broken it down before, so I didn't really think about how I was doing it. But there is a video of a guy that runs a martial arts place who explains all this and gives some other visuals and he puts tape in different sections of the bow. His bows are more like martial arts bows. And since I mentioned that, you could buy a PVC pipe covered with rubber. Uh, they're the least expensive. This is actually shorter. I think it's maybe four feet. Um, and then you just, and then I would just find the center and do it with this. Why are they like this? Well, in martial arts, a lot of times people will practice martial moves, right? And strikes and so forth. And one strike might be like this. Uh, it's easier to do that with rubber, especially if you're working with another friend and practicing some of these moves and you accidentally get whacked. I have gotten whacked a few times, but of course I'm already whacked and you all know that. Um, I've gotten whacked in the legs a couple of times and your shin bones may have to take some, uh, some punishment. But what, why, do you, why do this? Well, it gives you, you know, and the, a warm up, by the way, that I didn't mention is just to go in each hand. You don't count this as the spinning because it's just a back and forth. But you're getting wrist and forearm flexibility. You can feel it in the joints of your elbow. You'll gain strength and size almost like a tennis player in your forearms. You also, as you do more, as you get up to a couple hundred, three or four or five hundred, you'll feel, feel it in your shoulders, in your forearms, and your biceps and triceps. So it's really a um, good exercise for your upper body, and it has coordination built into it, and sort of a sense of uh, space and how things turn around you. So that's it. 
join the 100,000 spins in 100 day challenge, help push us all along, and we'll have a Zoom or two to celebrate and help each other. Oh, one more thing. The one, the one arm is you just turn on each side of your body. So I would turn my wrist over and swing around to the other side of my body and turn, turn over. I think this is called the infinity sign or figure eight move because that's kind of what you're doing. So you can do a hundred on each side with one hand, it gives your other arm a rest for a while until you come back to the two handed spinning and do these. It's really easy for me to do a uh, hundred on each side, a hundred left and right, and then a hundred on each side again. And now I'm at 600. I can take a break and come back and do 400, which I've not done yet. And you guys all need to jump in uh, and make it happen. See you guys spinning the bow.